If you'd like to support the channel, check out the links on our homepage. We now have a Patreon account where you can support the channel and you'll get extra content and battle reports. We have a coffee account where you can make one-off donations. You can check out our Instagram for all the channel going-ons and our Goblin Gaming affiliate link where they sell Games Workshop, all kinds of hobby and of course Adeptus Titanicus at reduced rates. Anything you buy using the link, the channel gets a little back in return. And last but not least, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much and enjoy the show. Everybody and welcome back to the channel and uh, I am continuing my Warbreaker journey um, and I've started assembling uh, I'm just gonna apologize actually my uh, 96 year old neighbor is having a bush trim next door and uh, all you can hear is the uh, heavy machinery so I may or may not be able to edit that out anyway I digress going back to the Warbreaker so I've started assembling and I've got a trusty warlord here for scale and the beauty of this is the parts are large and um, my boy has a little nap because he's not even two and I've actually got all this done and more sort of cleaned up and ready um, in about two hours um, so it's gone together very very well now I hate assembling it's for me the worst part of the hobby so if something can be put together easily then I'm all for it so um, let's get rid of the Warlord and I'll take you on a tour. So I've got these uh, blue tacked on, they do a lot of dry fitting. Um, you'll need super glue, you'll need um, blue tack, you'll need some tools for minimal cleaning. I'm just using a knife actually, a little craft knife, um, maybe a small file. Uh, mine's a prototype so um, if you buy one yours will be even uh, better condition than mine. Um, so putting it together was fine. I have pinned the hips, the ball joints into the hips. That's the only pinning I've done so far. Um, I have given mine a little, just a small step. Um, I've tried to give it a more dynamic look. Um, and in doing so, and, I, and this was intentional, the struts that go in here, that join here, uh, on these ones I'll just have to just trim them and edit them slightly but that's what I've done on, on other engines uh, when I've gone for a, a, a dynamic pose so you don't have to do that if you go flat footed um, it will be fine I just wanted to try and give mine a bit of a pose so yeah I've this is all super glued I have pinned the hips and that's all good ass cannon that's always good fun so something else I want to show you if it will be bright enough check out this area check out those little control panels so um, I'm very tempted to get some um, little like Skitari probably get a Vanguard or something for those and get them on there as well so yeah in a couple of hours I've got this far um, the body is just sitting on there you could magnetize it um, but at the moment I'm quite happy with it like that so um, this bit here all just like has um, holes where it all just clips together and you just need a very small bit of glue it's fantastic so that is the superstructure done as you can see I'm on a, my 200 mil round again um, use any base you want 200 wide I think is a sweet spot for the rules we've got if you can get an oval one 200 by 150 I'm not finding them but I think 200 wide is a sweet spot I have got here a uh, 170 night base. Um, if I can, it does fit. So you 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 can get it on there, um, but for me, it's a bit too small. It will work. Again, you can write any rules you like for it. Um, we're just chucking some out 
so you can get started. Um, but for me, I just like I just like the 200 mil. So that's where I'm at. Uh, what else have I done? There's our head. It's got the um, armor on the top now. Looking great. There you go. So that's cool. Um, we've got the guns. That's cool. We've got both the guns. So they kind of be like that. Pew, 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 pew. Very cool. Um, one thing about so the arms go. They've got these things here, and these slot in there. Um, so what I'm going to do, I might drill these a little bit bigger, very carefully, because it's quite tight, and I kind of like the idea of maybe pulling these being able to pull these out or so what happens is that goes on there and then that goes on there and then it goes on there or I might drill here for some magnets I might future proof it I don't know what the future is for weapons but that is what I might do so that's the arms, that's the guns, that's the head, that's all good. Um, and then I have ready the, um, the carapace and, and the towers, um, and they look amazing. Okay, there you go. So this is what goes on the carapace. These are all the domes and towers. And that is just um, dry fit. That is just sitting on the platform, just slotting their various um, holes and stuff, as you can see about as big as a warlord uh, interesting fact it's actually the base is the same as a warlord base it is that kind of size uh, warlord uh, night base uh, 40k games workshop night base so this is where a lot of your size comes from um, the structure itself is about as tall as an atropos knight from forge world um, and then you're adding all this on top so again that's not been cleaned or touched that's just how it is and that is all just sitting together and you can see there's the gun slots here 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 um, little holes here for the void uh, relays um, and then obviously all the armor goes around so I'm going to be painting this in these kind of sub assemblies uh, the arms and the guns the structure the towers and then spraying all the armor, paint all the armor, and then putting them on. So I'm I'm just going through it, assembling it into the blocks I want for painting. Uh, so I might even be adding the armor to this and then painting it. Haven't really decided that yet. And so last but not least, I've uh, very carefully balanced uh, that on top. Now bear in mind there is no glue or blue tack on there. That fits together really, really nicely. And then you can see the sheer size of the thing. Let's get some guns, they'll be about there. It's massive. Next to our friendly neighborhood warlord. Um, so that's where I'm at. Um, it's, yeah, it's a great kit. Uh, you can see that. And uh, at the moment it's been an absolute pleasure to put together. Um, the knees, uh, these are all like hinged and stuff. And then we've got ball joints as well uh, in the feet and the hip and hinged at the knee so um, they are very easily posable um, and yeah that's where I'm at so um, yeah I'll do some more progress as it happens and um, I hope to start getting some paint on it very very soon so I hope you're enjoying the Warbreaker and I'll see you in the next video